One option for fastening an LED assembly to the to a heatsink is to use Arctic Silver two-part epoxy adhesive. Now, when applied correctly, Arctic Silver adhesive will create a very efficient permanent bond between the assembly and the heatsink. The key to creating a thermally efficient bond is to create as thin a bond line as possible between the LED and the top of the heatsink. At most, you don't want the heat epoxy layer to be more than four thousandths of an inch thick with two to three thou uh, easily achievable if this is done correctly. To go in you want to make sure you have all the items you're going to need close at hand. So you're going to need of course the Arctic Silver, the both parts, a mixing pallet, uh, something that's a plastic surface would be good so that the adhesive doesn't soak into it, a mixing wand, uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, some clean wipes, um, the uh, LED assembly press, uh, which we now include uh, with each shipment of Arctic Silver. Uh, the heat sink you're going to be bound, uh, bonding to, and of course the LED assembly itself. So you want to start by ensuring that the surfaces are thoroughly clean and free of any oils and greases. So we're going to clean that off with isopropyl alcohol. And we'll clean off the LED back of the LED as well. And make sure both surfaces are impeccably clean. Okay. Next we need to mix up the adhesive. Now the amount that you're going to need is actually very small. And it can be a bit tricky to judge this. So I've made up this little palette showing little droplets of the amount of heat adhesive you need for different types of assemblies. For the LED or for the um, star assembly uh, this here drop represents about how much you're going to need to uh, fasten that to the top of the heat sink. If you're fastening a say a 10 millimeter square then this is all you'd need and if you are fastening a larger 40 millimeter 7 LED assembly then this would be all you need for this one here. Okay, so we're going to start by mixing up some adhesive on our mixing palette. So squeeze out a Small amount, of, small amount of first part, and an equal amount of the second part. And then mix that up. Now this is obviously more than what we're going to need, so we'll just mix it up and just use exactly what we need for this. So you want to mix it very thoroughly. So stir for about 30 seconds or so. Okay. Now we want to put a small drop where we want the center of the LED on the heat sink. So we want this LED on the center of the heat sink, so we're going to put a drop right in the center. And again, this not very much and avoid the temptation to spread it around just put a small drop in the center and that should be about right okay you take your LED and you drop it right on top and then carefully push it down, aligning the LED to the center. Okay. Now you want to take your LED press, set it on top with the LED in the opening, and making sure that's all lined up. Then you want to put as much pressure as you can on top for about 30 seconds. Okay, now leave this in place and then just use that to position your LED where you want it on the heat sink. Now you got time, this takes about 5-10 minutes for the epoxy to set up so there's time to do this. 
So get it in position. Don't worry about the epoxy that squeezes out and avoid the temptation to try and wipe it off. Just leave it alone. And then when you're satisfied with the positioning of that, you need to wait or clamp this in place while it sets up. I prefer to use a clamp. So you want to very carefully position your press in the middle. Careful you don't move your LED around. And then very gently drop your clamp in place. Make sure that everything is still in position. There we go. And then let that sit for about 10-15 minutes to set up. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to fully cure, but you can have a look at it after about 10-15 minutes. It's, uh, it won't move after that. So it's been about 20 minutes since we clamped this up. It takes about 24 hours for the epoxy to fully cure, but it firms up after about 20 minutes, so we can take the clamp off and have a look at it. Looking at it here, we can see that the epoxy is all the way around the edge of the LED, which means we've got good coverage underneath the, the bottom of the assembly. Now, if we were to measure the thickness of the epoxy, we'd find that it'd be about two or three thou thick. So this assembly will perform very well and provide excellent uh, thermal efficiency when it's put into service.